بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Um, continue doing this. We finish this slide. We'll go to the next one. We have now a function is continuous and this interval. f of minus 3 equal minus 1, f of 6 equal 3. Then we should the following must be true and always true. Okay. Let us graph the function, graph all the information given. We have a function is continuous between minus 3 and 6. f of minus 3 is a value there, minus 1. f of 6 is a value there, which is 3. Okay. So I have this point, and I have this point. Okay. f of 0 must be 0? No. You can't do a graph like this without avoiding it. So this is not must be true. f of x between minus 1 and 3? No, I can go like this and go like this. So avoid. So this is also wrong. If we see equal five, five is here somewhere. No need. I can do like this. So if we see not equal to no, no C will make it zero. We'll make it five. If we see equal zero, but for what? For one C between minus one and three. Between minus one and three. It's also wrong. It says f of c equals zero. I can't do like this. So it's not equal zero here. It will not cross. So that means it's correct. It's wrong. The only correct one is this one. f of c equal one, where one is here. For sure, between minus three and six. This is minus three and six. For sure, I cannot go from this point. At this point, unless I cross this line, f of c equal one. So this is the only solution. Let a and b be two non zero. Let a and b be two non zero is constant. They are constant. Which one the following would guarantee this function have a zero? So for sure, we're talking about intermediate values here. So I want to check f of zero for this interval. So one of them should be positive, the other one negative. Very clear. So if at zero, x equals zero, so I have a. If at one, I have what? A, e minus b. Okay. So let me start with f of zero positive, with this possibility. So for sure, we need f of one to be negative. That means a, e minus b negative. Look at all of these things e is in the other side. So take e in the other side. So it means e, e less than b. So it means e less than b over a. So that means over a greater than e. So you want a positive and b over a greater than e. A positive here, but I don't have this. This is wrong. A positive, b over a less than e. So this is wrong. That's it. So let me go to the second possibility. f of zero equal a negative. So we need f of one to be positive. That implies a e minus b negative, uh, positive I mean, positive. That means a e greater than b. I divide by a. That means e greater than b over a. That means b over a less than e, if I read it this way, huh? b a over a less than e. So I have a less than zero and b over a less than e. So this is the answer. Usually answers are, are a, so there is something wrong. This is wrong for sure. There is a mistake. You need to be careful. What is, where is the mistake? The mistake is here. Going from this side to this one. I'm dividing by a. We notice A is negative, so I need to change the sign. That means B over A greater than E, which is this correct. This is wrong, not correct. Since I divide by A, I need to change the sign. This is greater than, that will be this time. Be careful about that. Okay, using the intermediate value theorem, this equation has a root. Plus, this will make it equal to zero plus x cubed equals zero. So this is my function. Check.
check this. I need to check f of 0, f of 1, f of 2, f of 3, f of 4, f of 5. Wow. OK. I'm check to be positive negative. Huh? f of x 0 is 0, 0, minus 4, negative. f of 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 4, still negative. So this is wrong. f of 2, 2, my 2 plus 8. 10 minus 4, so for sure it will be positive. So this is correct. F of 3, since this will be 27, for sure. Always positive, always positive, always positive. Since so I have x cubed, 5 cubed, 4 cubed, 3 cubed. So all of this is wrong. OK. The determined value guarantees the existence of a root of this one, the same thing. I would make it equal 0. So this is my function. And check f of minus 3, f of minus 2, f of minus 1, f of 0, f of 1, wow, f of 2, f of 3. Minus 3, that will be negative, minus 27, so for sure this is negative. Minus 2, it will be minus 8, it's 10 negative. f of minus 1, it will be minus 1, plus 2 minus 2, which is Negative. F of zero, negative. F of one, one minus two, minus two, that's still negative. F of two, will be what? Eight minus four, minus two, which is positive. F of three, that will be a big number, that will be positive. So this one out, um, minus one and one out two and three out zero and one out one and two difference negative positive so this is correct if the function is continuous everywhere continuous everywhere how to deal with such problem i need to check each part this is always both continuous always continuous here i need to check X is positive, X greater than one, so we care about X not equal to one, so we have we are okay. X are greater than one. So I need to check what? I check the junction point. Hmm? This is okay, this is okay. This is okay for this period, since it's only I need X not equal to one, where X not equal to one. So, so at X equal zero, I need the limit. As goes to zero from right, equal the limit as goes to zero from left, equal if at zero from right. I am here, substitute the zero, you get B. Zero from left, I am here, substitute the zero, you get minus two. If at zero, you get B, so this is will give me nothing. So B equal minus two. Limit. This goes to one from right for x equal one. It's also a junction point. F of x limit x goes to one from left equal f of one. One from right, I am here, so I need to check this limit. Let me do it here. That will be what? Very clear. X minus one times X plus one over X minus one has canceled that we're getting two. So this is two equal one from left. I am here. So it will be what? A plus B and it's equal the same thing as A plus B. So have B equal minus two, plug it there. So I have A minus two equal two. That means A equal four. So what will be A minus B? will be 4 minus minus 2, which is 6. So this is the answer. The same thing. These are polynomials, so they are continuous. No need to worry about this. So I need the junction point. x equals 0. Limit x goes to 0 from right. is equal limit x goes to 0 from left. Equal f at 0. From right, I am here. So that will be what? 0 minus 3a minus b, or oh, this is 0, 3a minus b. From left, I am there. 
zero, so that will be 2b. So I have the equation 3a minus 3b equals zero, which is a minus b equals zero, which is a equal b. Okay, now for two, I have the limit as goes to two from right. Equal the limit, let's go to two from left. Equals if at two from right, I am here, substitute the two. Six minus five, I'm getting one. Left, the two, equal be four plus three A minus B. So that means 3a minus b equals what? Minus 3. a equal b. So it means 3b minus b. 2b equal minus 3. So b equals minus 3 over 2. And a equals minus 3 over 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did a mistake somewhere? Because if at one, it will be what? It will be a fraction. Okay, maybe I did a mistake. Let me just double check it. X equals zero. From right, I am here. So that will be zero, three A minus B, correct? From left, X zero. So I have A times zero, two B. So I have three A minus three B equals zero. So I have Divide by three. Yeah, A minus B equals zero, so A equal B. Okay, now for two, two from right here, three times two, six minus five, one. There, it will be four plus three A minus B. So it's three A minus B equal minus three. B is equal to A, three B minus B is two B. Range. If at one will be what? I just substitute here. It'll be one plus three A minus B. Okay, let me continue. That will be what? One this is A minus nine over two. And this is minus three over two, which is three over two. Yes, yes. And I was thinking it will be a fraction. No, it's not a fraction. One minus three, which is minus two. So this is the answer. Correct. The same idea. These are polynomials. So I need to check these two. X equal two. On the limit, is goes to two from right. Equal limit, is goes to two from left. Equal F at two. Two from right, I'm here. So that will be what? 4a minus 2b plus 3. 2 from left. 2 from left, I am here. 2 from left, that will be 4. <laughs> that means I have the equation. 4a minus, t minus 2b equal 1. x equals 3, I'll do the same. Limit x goes to 3 from right. f of x. Limit x goes to 3 from left. f of x equal f at 3. Here, no need. F of 2, it will be the same as the limit from, from right. So no need to do it. Huh? Uh, limit from left, uh, from right, yeah, from right. Here, the same thing. X from right, 3 from right, I am here. Substitute, you have what, 6 minus A plus B equal 3 from left, I am here. That will be what, 9A minus 3B plus 3. So that's rearrange it. It means 9a, not 9a. I take everything to this side. So I have 10a minus 4b equal 3. Huh? This one, take it to the other side. Don't take the 6. Equal 3. So I have these two equations. 4a minus 2b equal 1 and 10a minus 4b equal 3. Multiply, this is 1, this is 2. Multiply 1 by 2, so I have 8a minus 4b equal 1, and 10a minus 4b equal 3. 
8a minus 4b equal 2, since I multiply everything by 2. Now subtract this 8 minus 10, this is minus 2a, cancelled, 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So a equal half. If a equal half, plug it in any one of these equations, I plug it here, and get what? Four times a, four times half, which is two, minus two b equal one. So minus two b equal minus half. So b equal uh, minus half, what's this matter? Ma minus one, so b equal half. So a plus b will be equal half plus half, which is one. Same idea. These are polynomials, one, three, check only one, three. Then I need to take a part two, which substitute here, like what I did before. So I have limit is go to one from right, equal limit is goes to one from left, equal f at one. I say one from right, I am here, that will be a minus b plus three. Is it the same? Oh, it's another function, okay. One from left, I am here, that will be three. That means a minus b equals zero. That means a equal b. For x equal three, limit x goes to three from right, equal limit x goes to three from left, equal f at three. From right, I am here, that will be six minus a plus b. Three from left, I am here, that will be nine a minus 3b plus 3, do the same. That means what? Take it to the other side. And a minus 4b, we'll take this to the other side, it will be equal to 3. a equal b, plus plug it. So it means 6b equal 3, so b equal half. If b equal half, that means a equal half. What will be f at 2? I just substitute at 2, it will be 4a minus 2b plus 3. 4 for a, that will be 2, minus 2 for half, but that's minus 1 plus 3, which is 5 minus 1, which is 4. If the function continues, all of these are polynomials, so nothing, nothing to worry about. So I need, no, yeah. And now check here. Here I need x plus one, x equal one. So I need x goes to one from right, equal limit, x goes one from left. I care only about one, huh? Is equal f at one. So I have two equations. Well, these two are different now, huh? Before they are the same. So I did not use it. This f of one, it will be the same as, as this one. So no need, no need to worry about it. Here I have, it goes to one from right, that will be three minus a, one from left, I am here, that will be one minus two b, f of one, it's a plus b. So I have this equation, and I have this equation. We solve it, I have what, two a plus b equals three, and in this one, take it to the other side, a, plus 3b equals 1. Huh? I take this, this other side. So multiply this by 2. So I end up 2a plus b equals 3. And 2a plus 6b equal 2. Subtract. You have what? Minus 5b equal to 1. So b equal minus 1 over 5. Okay. No mistakes. Huh? 3 minus a equal a plus b. That means b plus 2a equal 3. 4 minus 2b equal a plus b. So I have a plus 3b. Yeah. Multiply by 2. So I have 2a plus 6b. Okay. Equals 2. Subtract minus 5b. So b equal minus, minus 1 over b. Plug it in one of these. I plug it in 
this one. I have to take, I have to take a minus three over five equal one. So a equal eight over five. So I need a minus two b, which is eight over five plus two over five, which is two. Now I say the, the function is continuous every x. Notice here I need the condition x not equal to one and four minus three x positive, which means three x less than four, x less than four over three, which means x less than four over three, which is correct in this case. The rest continuous everywhere. This one is continuous, this one is continuous, no, nothing to worry about. So I care, I care about these junction points, x equals zero, limit x goes to zero from right, equal limit, x goes to zero from left, equal if at zero. Zero from right, I'm here. Ah, this is, to be careful, this is you need to do, calculate the limit. If we substitute, you have what? Uh, at zero. Yeah, zero from right. I am here. If we substitute at zero, you get a value, huh? It will be four minus zero, two minus one. That is one over minus one, which is minus one. So this is minus one. If it goes to zero from left, zero from left, I'm here, that will be A. F of zero will be, if we substitute F of zero, we have four, same, huh? it will be minus one. So A equal minus one, Class, we are done with A. Now doing the same thing for one, one from right, F of X, limit as goes well one from left, equal f at one from right i'm here I have one plus b from left we need to check this notice if we substitute you are getting zero over zero so you need to rationalize it and do our usual calculation what that will be limit it goes one from left, four minus three x minus one over this one over this one. This is what three minus three over x, huh? Three minus three x or three one minus x. Huh? So this is cancelled. I have a minus sign. So this limit is what minus three over at one. 4 minus 3, 1 plus 1, 2. So this is minus 3 over 2. So this is equal minus 3 over 2. F of 1 will be like 1, 1 plus b. So that will make nothing. So that means b equal minus 5 over 2. So I need a plus b minus y minus 5 over 2, which is minus 7 over 2, which is this. Function is continuous and f of 2 equals 3. This is and the argument x is positive, which is OK with this one. So nothing to worry about. I need to worry about only the this one. Also at 5, it will be OK. If a 5, it's equal to the limits from the right. It's the same in the same in the same function. So I need to care about at 1. So I have limit. This goes to 1 from right. Is equal limit. This goes to 1 from left. I need to care about x equal 1 equal f at one. One from right, I'm here, that will be a plus b. One from left, I am here, lin one, which is zero. So it means a plus b, a equal minus b. There is something else he gave us, f of two equal three. This is will give me another equation. Since f of two, I am here, so I have four a plus b equal three. Plug it here. So I have minus 4b plus b equal 3. So it means b equal minus 1 and a equal 1. So 2a plus b will be what? 2 minus 1, which is 1. So this is the answer. It's 
continuous everywhere. Everything is continuous. I need to check this. X equals zero. You have limit is goes to zero from right. Equal the limit is goes to zero from left. Equal f at zero from right. I am here. That will be b. From left, I am here. It will be what? A cosine zero, which is one a plus two b. That means a plus b equals zero. That means a equal minus b. Now for x equal three, I know the limit as goes to three from right. Equal the limit as goes to three from left. Equal f at three. From right, substitute here. Three minus seven is minus four. Yeah. By the way, this one satisfied only by this one. Huh? The rest are wrong. That will be three from left. I am here. Substitute. You have B plus three X plus three uh, A. I mean, X is three. Plug it here. That means minus four equal what? B minus uh, B minus three. B. Yeah, B minus 3B, which is minus 2B. So B equal 2 and A equal minus 2, which is this one. The graph of the function is given in the figure below, which is not true. I know this is the correct answer, so I'll do it backward. If has a horizontal asymptote at y equal 1. No, at y equal 1, there is no, no horizontal asymptote. Uh, no, there is a central subtot. Huh? There is a central subtot at y equal one. Huh? So this is correct. Vertical subtot at x equal one. Yes, there is a vertical subtot at x equal one. Jump discontinuity at x equal zero. At x equal zero. There is a jump discontinuity. Is this continuous? Because there is jump discontinuity. Infinite discontinuity since it goes to infinity. The limit of f as x approaches zero exists. No, it does not exist. So this is the only wrong this continuous at x equal one at x equal two find a and b this comma no need to. continuous all of these functions are continuous so i need to check one x equal one limit is goes to one from right equal limit x goes to one from left equal f at one which will make no difference from right i'm here it will be one minus a from left, I am here. That will be a minus one. That means what? Two a equal two. That means a equal one. Minus. Okay. Now do for x equal two. I have limit x goes to two from right. Equal limit x goes to two from left. Equal f at two. This is one. Two from right. I am here. That means b minus four. Two from left. I am here. That means what? Go from left. Two minus a. Where a equal one. That implies in b equal what? B equal. This is one. One take four. B equal five. So I need one and five. That's. The equation has a root in this interval. So first, make it equal to zero. So this is my function. And I will check f of two, f of t, f of, let me do it backward, like we did before. So I have f of minus two, f of minus one, f of one, f of two, f of three, f of four. Positive negative. F of minus two, it will be what? will be 2 to the power minus 2 minus 10 over minus 2. This are, comes positive plus positive. This is positive. F of minus 1, that will be what? 2 is minus 1 minus 10 over minus 1, which is this is positive. So this is positive. This is what? 2 to the power 1 minus 10 over 1. It's a negative one. 
2 to the power 1 minus 10, which is negative. This is negative. What's this? Two to the power one minus ten over one. This is negative. F of two. It will be what? Two to the power two minus ten over two. That will be four minus five. It's ten negative. F of three. Say two to the power eight minus ten over three, which is eight minus ten over three. That is positive. F of four. 2 to the power 4 minus 10 over 4, which is positive. For sure, this is wrong. 1 and 2, also wrong. Minus 1 and 1 seems to be correct. Minus 2 and minus 1, this is wrong. 2 and 3, correct. But this one, what's wrong with it? Minus 1, 2 is minus 1, minus 10 over minus 1. Plus, that will be what half plus 10, which is positive. This is f of minus 1. f of 1 will be 2 to the power 1 minus 10 over 1, which is negative, very clearly negative. So this is also correct. I have two answers. This is by mistake. Now it says continuous everywhere. Look at the functions. This function is OK. This function is OK. This function is also OK where X is positive. Hmm. So we have only two conditions. No, plus C, this is just a C about. OK, OK, let us see what will happen. Um, no, be careful about something. Um, We need to check what? We need to check minus one and zero. This is what I need to check. Since the functions are, are no, no problems. OK, x equal minus one, I have limit. Let me do the calculation, then it, we will see what will, what will happen. Limit x goes to minus one from left, equal f of minus one. Uh, minus one from right, I am here. That will be four equal. Minus one plus m here. That will be two is minus one plus a. Mana a is high sabi. A high on arba nagas no sabaratne. Now, what is equal zero? I know limit x goes to zero from right. Equal limit x goes to zero from left. Equal if at zero. From right, I am here. Substitute, you get 2b. From left, I am here. So that will be 3. That means b equals 3 over 2. So what I need, a plus b plus c. C has no effect. It will be what? 7 over 2 plus 3 over 2, 10 over 2, which is 5 plus c. Which is this? OK, the graph is given, which the following is true. The following is true. Let me do it backward. Has one jump discontinuity. And he's talking about the discontinuities. What kind we have? Here we have discontinuity, which is removable. OK, here we have discontinuity. I mean, not here. Here we have discontinuity. Here we have discontinuity, which is infinite. Here we have discontinuity at six, which is what? Jump. This is jump. One jump and two removable, wrong. One jump and two infinite, wrong. One infinite and two jump, no. One removable and two jump, no. One removable, one infinite, one jump, yes. 
Actually, this book, as I said, uh, it's only removable and not removable. With some it's true about the function f of x. This function f of x. Very clear. Now, first, I need to rewrite the function. What's the meaning of this? That means x is less than minus 1 or x greater than 1. And what's the meaning of this? x is between minus 1 and 1. Let me write the function. The function is something like this now. It will be this fx less than minus 1. I took this. Just rearrange it x. fx between minus 1 and 1. And the same thing. fx is greater than 1. So this is my function. This function has no problem because the x equal 1 is not defined, and the same thing here. There's no problem because the x equal minus. Actually, x equal minus 1, you have no problem. So x not equal 1 in both, so we quite care about only the, we need to check the junction points. Okay, minus 1, add 1, see what will happen. But x equal minus one. What happened? And to check limit, as goes to minus one from right, should equal limit as goes to minus one from left. Minus one, I just substitute. You have what? Minus one minus one, which is minus two. And the square root two over minus two, so it will be minus one. Substitute it here, it will be minus one. So this is correct. And it's equal f at minus 1, which is 1 also. So f is continuous here. Now I check uh, x equal 1. I need the limit. It goes to 1 from right. Is equal limit. It goes to 1 from left. Is equal f at 1. Uh, yeah, look at this function from right. I need a limit, huh? So I need to do this here. This goes one from right of this. We do it. This is, will be positive. So it will go out as is. So I'm getting one. So the answer is one. This is one. From left. I should be here, which is 1, and f of 1 is equal to 1. So this is also continuous at x equal 1. So the function is continuous everywhere. Continuous everywhere, find c. These are polynomials, so I need to check at 2, x equal 2, limit x goes to 2 from right, equal limit x goes to 2 from left, equal f at 2. From right here, that will be 8 minus 2c. From left here, that will be 4c plus 4. So we have what? 6c, take this here and this here, equal 4. So c equal 2 over 3, which is this one. Okay. Which of the following function has a removable discontinuity? Removable discontinuity. It means it's discontinuous, but the limit exists. Look at this one. This yes, is is this one discontinuous at x equal one, and the limit as this goes to one will be what limit x goes to one x minus 1, x plus 1, x squared plus 1 over x minus 1 cancelled. So I'm getting a value, 2, 2, 4. So we have a removable here. The limit exists. This one, we have this continuity. Why we have this continuity? I check the limit as this goes to pi from right for this function. I check it from left. 
from the same function. Also, I'll check it from oh, f at pi. Also, I'll check f at pi. I need to check all of this. Notice this is sine x. I care about y. Hmm? This is y. So what will happen? X goes to buy from right. If X goes to buy from right, sine X goes to what? Buy from right. More than buy, sine X will go to zero from left. It's a negative. Because this is, will be the third quadrant. So that will be degressing zero, zero from left, minus one. Now if I check, it goes to buy from left, what will happen? Sine x, y from left, I am here. Sine x goes to zero from right. So the greatest integer will be zero. Uh, no need to check f of y. Very clear. Here, f is discontinuous. Uh, the, the limit does not exist. Halas. Limit. Does not exist. So it has no removable here. Normal for this continuity. The last case, which is f of x equal 1 minus x over 1 minus absolute value of x around a, which is 1. So I need to check limit x goes to 1, 1 minus x over 1 minus absolute value of x. This is always positive, so it will be going out as 1. Since for 1, this is always positive around 1. This is always positive, it's not zero. One minus x over one minus x, which is one. So the limit exists, but it's not it discontinuous, discontinuous at x equal one, but removable discontinuity. Since the limit exists. Limit exists, so I have one and three. Okay. If f and g are continuous functions. Continuous functions, that means the limit, since I'm dealing with x equal to, x goes to 2, let me go with this. For f of x, this is f at 2, and limit is goes to 2 of g of x is equal g at 2, which is equal to 4. So what I will do, since this is continuous, so this is, the limit exists, this limit exists, this limit exists, everything exists. So I have limit is goes to 2 of 3 f of x. Let me rewrite it. So I can distribute the limit. That which I know is 20, that will be what? 3 limit is goes to 2 if f of x minus 2 limit is goes to 2 of f of x limit of g of x as it goes to 2. I'm doing this since the function is continuous means the limit exists. That will be three. This is what? F of two, since the function is continuous. F at two minus two, F of two. This is what? G at two, which is four. All of this should be 20. So you have three minus eight minus five, F of two is equal to 20. That means F of to equal minus 4, which is this. What is the statement is true about this function? It's talking about the discontinuity, what will happen? Here, I know x not equal to 2, which is OK. No need to check our function. Usually, we care about the function. Then we care about the jump point. The jump point, we care about 2. I want to check what will happen at 2. Actually, I'm just talking about 2. So this is what my concern. So x goes to 2, f of x. Should be equal f of 2 or not? The limit as this goes to 2 for this function or for f of x, right and left are the same. So no need to, to do it from right and left. That means 4 minus x squared over 2 minus x. 
that will be limit x goes to uh, 2 minus x, 2 plus x over 2 minus x. This is cancelled, so you have what? 4. But f of 2 is 1. They are not equal. So we have discontinuity, and which type? Removable. Why removable? Since the limit exists. So we have A. Where is the function continuous? And now we need to put the conditions. I need this to be greater than or equal to zero, and this, which is I can make it x squared, x minus three, which is x cubed minus three, not equal to zero. That means x not equal to zero and x not equal to three. Plus, we plug it. This is one. I need to avoid zero. I need to avoid three. Oh, but this is x greater than or equal to one, which means from one forward. So it means what? This is, I don't care about. So this is one to three, union three to infinity, which is this one. Now this is continuous, but they have two variables. Uh, this are everything is okay. So I need to check two from left or right. Limit is goes to two from right. Let me do it. Equal f at two. From right, 